Hi, this is Trey Pastor. Welcome to my review of Zombieland 2, titled Double Tap. Okay, this is the sequel <laughs> to a movie that I absolutely love. I love the original uh, Zombieland. It was just such a, uh, a great <laughs> movie, very funny, just had great amounts of violence. Woody Harrelson was absolutely fantastic as Tallahassee and this, you know, this outlaw guy who, <laughs> who hooked up with uh, Columbus, played by Jesse Eisenberg, who had all these great rules to survive in the zombie apocalypse. And again, the first like five minutes <laughs> of Zombieland is just absolutely hilarious and absolutely funny and just a fan, like the best start of any movie ever. It's just, that's how great it is. Okay, and of course, along the way they meet you know, a Wichita played by Emma Stone and uh, Little Rock played by Abigail Breslin, okay? And you know, they're this duo that's, you know, you know by themselves and they kind of play a con game to you know, so, to so basically to survive, you know, it's, it's two women, and then like I said, they hook up and they come, become, you know, sort of a family in the in the original and stuff, and it was just a fantastic movie, like a breath of fresh air, and just fantastic, and we always wanted a sequel to it, but uh, you had to wait all these years for it to finally come, and uh, now it's here. Now, is this movie uh, a decent sequel? Yes, it is. Is it uh, better than the original? No, not, it's just, the original is just so so good and so it was just so fresh uh it, it's just i don't think it could be topped anyway it's just, just it was that just original you know from tallahassee's <laughs> obsessing with uh uh twinkies and stuff and him his different inventive ways to kill zombies and columbus jesse eisberg his rules his zombie rules was just absolutely fantastic and emma stone as wichita this you know you know tough chick on the outside and stuff who really has her vulnerable moments and stuff, and you know, Little Rock, Abigail Breslin. It's just, you know, that movie, the movie's just fantastic. But again, this movie picks, takes place years later. We see they're still together, you know, traveling on the road. And of course, Little Rock played by Abigail Breslin. She's grown up now, and she's, you know, she's restless. And like you see in the trailer, she kind of, you know, she's kind of in a rut. And she's, she kind of wants to be on her own and, and hang out with people her own age. Yeah. And stuff, and like you see in the trailer, you know, she goes off. She goes off and meets a guy, a hippie guy, played by Berkeley, played by Alvin Jaga, Jaggi. I guess that's how you pronounce him, Jagia, who was on uh, uh, the Victorious show. He plays this hippie. But anyway, this movie is is still a decent movie, even though, like I said, it can't top the original. It was still funny, and there was a couple of characters they introduced in this that I absolutely absolutely loved. Like you see uh, a character named Madison, played by Zoe. Dutch, and she's the daughter of Leah Thompson, and the director Howard Dutch, I think that's his name. Uh, she is absolutely <laughs> hilarious. There's this character named Madison who's sort of a blonde airhead, <laughs> but, uh, and she's absolutely hilarious. You know, she, you know, she's completely ditzy and stuff, but I'm sorry, she just, she's absolutely funny with her quips and, and stuff, and her just <laughs> non-awareness of things, and and the fact that she survived the zombie apocalypse this long is absolutely hilarious. And she just plays the character so perfectly and funny and hilarious and, and never gets old to me. I absolutely loved uh, Zoe Dutch's uh, Madison. I thought she was uh, like a breath of fresh air. She was absolutely hilarious. And introducing her <laughs> to this this group was just, I think, just an ingenious way. And I absolutely loved her character. And then, of course, we have Rosaria Dawson, who makes every movie better that she's in. I'm kind of biased. I love Rosario Dawson. She plays Nevada, another person that they meet along the way who's another tough survivor that they meet. And her and, and Tallahassee kind of, they have their moments together. And again, this movie is basically them, you know, this this group, you know, they, they kind of have their issues with each other and they kind of kind of go separate. But in the end, they, you know, they all come together, you know, and to, you know, to fight, you know, they have new things to worry about. Like there's a new strain of zombie that they have to, contend with and of course new people that they meet and so on the way and like you see in the trailer <laughs> there's the other two other characters that they meet uh albuquerque played by luke wilson and flagstaff played by thomas middle who is basically a common copy of tallahassee and columbus and it's absolutely hilarious whenever those four characters are in a scene together and especially emma stone's reaction to all those characters it's just absolutely hilarious okay like i said it's a nice enjoyable movie like i said it's just can't top the original just because the original was just just so fresh and and just inventive to see. I mean, I mean, there was been zombie movies before that, obviously, but this movie was just absolutely, the original was just absolutely entertaining and 
and those characters together were just magic. And they still have that magic together in this movie. It's just that, you know, you can't, you know, like the story is, you know, can't really top the original. It's just the original is just the original. But this is a still a decent movie, and I definitely recommend you go see it because these characters are still the same and still hilarious and still hilarious. And I love, again, the, the new characters they introduce in the story are actually good. You know, sometimes when they have sequels and they introduce new characters, you say, ah, oh, these new characters are completely blah. But the new characters they introduce in this movie are absolutely fantastic. And I absolutely love them. And I love them interacting with the, with our main characters. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to give this movie a 7.5. I enjoyed it a lot. And I definitely, if you enjoy the original, you'll enjoy this movie. Again, it's nowhere near as great as the original, but this is still an enjoyable sequel. And I love the, the characters together and the and they, the actors play well off each other. And again, Zoe Dutch is Madison. I absolutely love her character. The playing that ditzy uh, airhead girl. She's, I'm sorry, she's, she's hilarious. And she never, you know, never, uh, you know, her character could sign and kind of get old after a while, but but she doesn't to me. She's, she to me, she's just absolutely fantastic. And then Madison, that's just great acting on her part. Anyway, uh, again, 7.5 for me. Anyway, let me know what you think of Zombieland 2 Double Tap. If you've seen it, what do you think of it? Feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I also have a link to my other channel, Paul Views and Pains. Please check that out as well. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.